Welcome back, class. Hi, Matt, your guide here on Y Caliber. We're playing Defenders of Oasis. Unfortunately, most of the video footage from the previous episode was lost. I'm very sorry about that. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what happened, but it was all corrupted and recording things from my other monitor, as opposed to the region of screen I had told it to record, and which it had unfailingly recorded up until that point. So we learned uh, a few things about heroics. I looked back, I read most of that to you. We'll just glance at this one again, using the Mirror of Knowledge. Ring 1 is the Ring of Power. Exerting power is called Deeds. Good deeds are a sign of a champion. And you haven't seen any of these fights, thanks to the uh, video conniption, so we may as well watch them. These djinn usually just heal themselves, but we don't want them doing that anyway. So we're going to blow them up. We're just going to cause an explosion inside their brains with our deadly power. Nice. Now I was reminding myself that I wanted... oh. Well. I'll remind myself again of the same thing I was just reminding myself of. The fact that I wanted to get some healing in. So, Mr. Genie, heal us up, eh? And the next time I have a fight off screen, I'll, I'll send him to uh, to recharge his MPs, like now. Nice thing about that party is we actually got a useful item out of it. Some silk. Which gives our genie buddy some more imps. And uh, he healed up most of his MP while he was out of that battle. But there's always room for more. That was underwhelming. Oh no! Whoa! Holy poop! Alright, I guess we should take this seriously. I'll grudgingly take this seriously. Uh, let's see... Heal the Prince. Kill that guy. Thank you. You're gonna hide so that we can kill that guy faster. Maybe this will convince him. Nope. I thought maybe that would convince him to heal himself, but that does not appear to have been the case. Sometimes you can trick them. Alright, some more scripts for us up here. Ring 2 is the Ring of Words. Words reflect the heart. Evil minds and good hearts are reflected in words. Uh, I don't think so, but, you know, whatever. Tell me your thoughts on that uh, declaration. Ring 3 is the Ring of Soul. The soul is the source of everything, if you believe in that kind of stuff. Power and words are born from the soul, if you believe in that kind of stuff. Okay, well, we are going to head back up, because there's nothing else for us on this floor. Take that, Jin. Alright, Salim can't do damage to these guys. Only the Prince and Agmar can. But, they'll be taken out soon enough, just like that, anyway. Uh, have I come to the right place? I have. Alright. Alright, here we are on the middle floor. You can see the uh, ice stuff I was talking about up to the top left there. And this is the one that tells us his destiny is made from power, words, and soul, which are linked together um, by that passage we read downstairs. Okay, good stuff. Back on the top floor with us. 
we are going to... Oops. Okay, well, you haven't seen the top floor, so I'll show that to you while we're up here. Alright, those are the scripts that we learned at the top floor. You've already heard that script. The next thing that we need to do, obviously, is uh, get ourselves back up to the top floor. Because, sorry, we're on basement one here, not the top floor. Oh, and you haven't seen this fight. Those basilisks can knock you out in one shot, which uh, you definitely don't want to happen. Because, you know, you die. And you have to use a worm act. Are you kidding me? Oh, I haven't seen this monster yet myself. Uh... Maybe this will hurt him because he's like the creature from the little black lagoon. I guess it didn't hurt him very much. Uh-oh. Are we going to see it in action? I think we just might. Well, that's not the worst. That could have been a lot worse than uh, what I was expecting. Actually, I've got an opportunity here. To get his MPs back up to full. Off you go, genie. Because it shouldn't take too much to take out this creature. Two turns in a row for Salim. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. Oh, these pixel-perfect steps. Okay. So, uh, this here is the top floor. We're going to use the genie's spell. Kshasla. And that turns this into passable terrain. This is the rest of the top floor that he didn't see. Maybe we can just kill these guys quickly. Not as quickly as I'd hoped. Yeah, we know. We got all the stuff that we need. So I'll just walk down uh, the middle here. You know what? Forget it. It's not that exciting. Let's just go downstairs. Here's the ice. We need to uh, be very careful in how we traverse this because as soon as you step onto it, whichever direction you're facing, you'll just keep going that direction. Those things are obviously holes. On whom should we use this power pot, do you think? Salim's looking a little weak. There we go. We could just keep pumping up the prince, obviously. Uh, and let's see here. What's the safest way to accomplish this? Oh, I missed. Yep, there we go. So this leads us down to somewhere else. Basement 2, where we have not yet been. We may as well grab this while we're here. Never mind. Although, does anybody need a little top-me-up? Who needs a top me up the most? Salim does. Okay, there we go. So, uh, you know, this floor is kind of cool, I guess. Wow, rude. All right, what we got? Ashawan. Nice. Fire burning. That's what we like to hear. I wonder how we can get to that one. I guess just by going over here. Nice.
Excellent. The genie's starting to have half decent defense. Hmm. Alright, so that's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go over here, just slightly past this one. Okay. Oh, are you kidding me? But I do need one for the genie, so we'll just use that on the genie. And hey, free holy herb. Perfect. Of course. Because why wouldn't we? A life pot will be quite helpful, I believe. Some of our characters are fairly low on, uh, on life. It will be quite useful for the prince to have... Uh, that's not what I thought was happening there. Alright, a speed pot will definitely be useful to use on the prince. There we go. Plating for the genie. Alright, so we just want to go over a bit. I'm deliberately falling here, by the way. Hmm. I guess we can't actually go by there. How can we get... How can we get up to that last treasure chest? You're interrupting a very thoughtful moment here, and I hope that you feel bad about it. Hmm. Who's gonna die? Nobody died yet, which is uh, very fortunate for us. And hopefully that'll be the end of Dahak. You're, of course, free to uh, tell me if I've mispronounced something. All right, what if we go just here? Hey! Excellent. That's what we like to see. Good use of hemp. All right, but now we have to go through that whole rigmarole again. To get where we actually wanted to go, which was the next stage. Okay. As you can see, we are now at the north end of uh, the area where we had all the lore last time and at the beginning of this episode. So let's go explore. Or not. There's some interesting stuff going on on this floor, I'll tell you that much. This isn't one of the interesting things though. Hopefully we can make it up to this one without another fight happening. Three rings represent the power, words, and souls of the light. He who wears those rings shall rule the world, but beware. If you are rejected by the rings, you will surely perish. Well, let's not get rejected by the rings, eh? Let's avoid that happening altogether. The curse of the guardian shall fall onto those who defile the sacred room. You know, standard curse stuff. Let's go find out what that is. Going to do a quick state save there. Hey guys, no, oh, okay. So, fight time. Oh, geez, I'm about to have a coughing fit. <laughs> Hold on. Alright, thank goodness that's over. Let's use some of our new spells here. Burn. Better than usual. That's uh, what I can say for that. 
Oh, that's pretty good, actually, if he's competing with the Prince's damage. Thank goodness for that. Yeah, that's right. I got that sound effect, too. Nice. One down. Oof. Brutal. Ah, oh, you're not having a lot of luck this fight, Salim. Can you make a comeback? You made a comeback. Haha! -ha. See, I was about to attack with Agmar, but then I thought, what if? What if that genie's about to attack Agmar as well? And you know what? I was totally right. Decent experience, Hall. Oh, you too, eh? Burn them to death. That's pretty good burning. Pretty good burning. Alright, you're on Barbado duty. Noice. Are they going to wake up immediately? Yep. You figure, right? You figure. Okay, good stuff. Uh, there's a better use of his turn than doing a small amount of damage, I think. I'll stand by that. Well, maybe... No, he didn't really surprise us. He did the same amount of damage that we thought he would. Hmm. That is very odd. That was a very low damage roll on that one. Right. The other one. Okay, good stuff. Now, what do you got for me? Ring two. Oh, I think it's time to go. What? Oh, thank you. Temple. Listen carefully. An evil force is trying to awaken. The force is led by the wizard king Ariman. In ancient times, I used the three rings to lock up Ariman. Now he wants to turn the rings to ashes and the flames of darkness to free himself from his bonds. But remember, the power of the rings will never cease. All right, man. Whatever you say. Let's get out of here. Let's ski daddle. Um, right. So we've got one of the rings now, and I think that makes us the master of the universe. I'll have to double check that though. Just you know, make sure that I got everything I needed to get out of that whole deal. Oops. I mean to go up there. You've done you've done good work here, Genie. I'm proud of you. Speaking of being proud of you. Let's just heal everybody up, eh? I'm not gonna bother with Agmar's missing three hit points though. Actually yes I am. I'm gonna trade three MP for three HP. Alright. Time to go save the day, princess? What's the princess doing here? Oh no! Uh, no, but I'll come with you. No, I'm not going to give anyone the magic lamp that has my genie in it. I told you not to do it! Oh 
my god. Why would you do that? Yes, obviously it's Alcaria. Mm, I hate this guy. Oh no! He's turning us into Super Mario Brothers 64! And... Oh, this is bad. Without the genie, we're not in great shape. It's just as the genie was finally getting really good, too. Those healing skills were always useful. I gotta say, up until then, this fight was going pretty easily. Goodbye, Knuckles. Oh, good. Hey, that's a good level up. That's a very good level up for Agmar. Yeah, there is 100% truth to that. That's the dumbest decision anyone could possibly make. You should be. You're a sorry person, too. Good point. Uh-oh. That's true. We can't go anywhere now, Prince. That's kind of uh, short-sighted of you. That's really screwed us over, really badly. The world doesn't seem to be connected in any meaningful way, dude. You have to magic everywhere. True, you really should have taken our ring. But what will that something be? <sighs> All right, well, without sheep, we're going to have to Obviously, first up, we need to refill all of our healing items, because without uh, the genie, we'll be in bad luck. Yes, that's right, we'll be in bad luck. That makes sense to say, don't tell me it doesn't. And I guess we should pick up some Wormax as well, even though they're very rarely useful. You never know when you'll need one. And it looks like I've allowed my stock to become dangerously low. <sighs> well, when we return, we're going to figure out where to go from here. So until then, all the best.